Hearthstone mailbag just got this in the mail today. Let's see what I got. Very, very excited. I got a Hearthstone well played shirt. Ooh, shiny. In my... I knew this was going to happen. No worries. I decided to get another one in blue. Ooh, just blue. Ca... What am I going to wear now? This is not even Blizzard. Snoozaloos. My name is Jay, and here's what happened this week in Hearthstone. Let's get right into it. So Microsoft's $68.7 billion deal to acquire Activision Blizzard has been approved by EU regulators just weeks after the regulators originally blocked the acquisition. The European Commission has concluded that the deal can pass thanks to the commitments from Microsoft related to cloud gaming. The regulators originally blocked the merger as they thought that Microsoft would stop allowing Sony to distribute the Activision games and make what were normally not Xbox exclusive games that are popular on, on all consoles just straight Xbox exclusives. The EU found that Microsoft would have no incentive to refuse to distribute Activision's games to Sony and that even if Microsoft did decide to withdraw Activision's games from the PlayStation Store, this would not significantly harm competition in the console's market. But EU regulators, much like the UK, did find the acquisition could harm competition around the distribution of PC and console games through cloud gaming services. Also announced late this week that China's State Administration for Market Regulation has unconditionally approved Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard as well. Now there are only two holdouts in the worldwide approval to the deal. It's the UK Competition Markets Authority and the US Federal Trade Commission. Those are the only two that are standing opposition right now. So we are all a little bit closer to the reality that we can play mercenaries on our Xboxes. This is the main reason why this merger is happening, right? Links to the articles below. So late this week, we saw a balance patch get implemented. It was originally slated for Thursday, but, and I'm super excited to finally use this graphic, I guess we can all blame Ridiculous Hat that it did not get released until Friday. He must have broke it, right? He also must have been responsible for the delay in the Heroic Tavern Brawl release date, right? So I made this graphic weeks ago when it was announced that he was joining Blizzard on the Hearthstone team, and that is purely for fun. So anytime something Hearthstone breaks, blame Hat. Again, this is just for giggles, and I love you, Hat. So back to the balance patch. Below is the link to the patch notes, and I'm super curious why Paladin was not nerfed yet. The changes for this patch adjusted a few cards for Priest, Death Knight, and Demon Hunter, and may just be making Paladin the top win rate class of the next few weeks, at least until the mini set is released? Oh wait, this picture's from two days ago. All in all, this patch included both changes to standard Hearthstone, Duels, and Battlegrounds, and I think the Battleground minion changes will be much more impactful than the traditional Hearthstone changes are. I will have much more on this balance patch and the meta on Monday's meta deck video. Let's give these adjustments a few days to settle before screaming to the Twitters about how this and that are ridiculously broken. See what I did there? Ridiculously broken? Astalor Bloodsworn is the card of the past month, or has it been even longer than that? Since the patch 26.0.4 came out, this card is in 50.2% of all Legend decks that are tracked through HS Replay. In the past three days, that number is 59.3%, and it is also very consistent across all the player ranks. Remember, this is just those decks tracked through HS Replay, but this is a very strong number indicative of a very strong card. And this card has already been nerfed. I am not an expert here, but I would think that when a card this strong dominates the percentage of decks category this large, a conversation inside Hearthstone HQ should be going on. Does this mean the card is too good because there's not enough cards that can replace it? Or is this card just singularly busted enough where we would be silly not to include this in our decks? I, I guess both could be said at times. BlizzCon 2023 was announced this week for in-person shenanigans on November 3rd and 4th in the Anaheim Convention Center in the good old US of A. No other details or facts or anything like that have been announced yet, but I'm excited to start talking about this for the weeks to come. I have not fully decided whether or not I'm going. I want to see how big of a presence Hearthstone will have at the event. I love all the other Blizzard IPs. I have played them a lot, some a massive 
amount, but my main want is a lot of Hearthstone. Also, by the way, now that BlizzCon is an in-person event, it is time to immediately allow all fireside gatherings to be public. I know I'm not the only person who thinks that this should be done already. That's it for this week. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like and comment this video as I pick a comment each week for a free standard bundle. The standard bundle is really cool right now. It includes 20 standard packs and two random legendaries. This week's winner will be announced at the very end, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I hope to see you in the tavern.